Um, we're moving on to the uh, Brexit. Today, those negotiations in public got even worse. Are Still they negotiating in good faith? And so I'm afraid, alas, you as, don't as I've said, that. I don't believe that. You don't. The Prime Minister exasperated by Brexit questions, contradicting his own cabinet ministers, dealing with resignation threats and doubling down. Today's challenge was handling the domestic fallout. This man, a senior Scottish lawyer and the Advocate General, didn't want to have to say he was part of a government willingly breaking international law. This was him just yesterday. The idea that the executive can enter into a treaty at the level of international law and then rely upon that to, 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 to displace primary legislation passed by the, the domestic parliament is, I would respectfully suggest, extraordinary. But that meant contradicting the Northern Ireland secretary, who told MPs a week ago it did breach international law. Brandon Lewis made clear today he was right. I've spoken to Lord Keane, and I have to say, in talking to Lord Keane, and looking at the specific question that uh, my, uh, my honourable friend um, asked me last week, he agrees the answer I gave is the correct answer. So you were answering the question, so in a, in a limited way, the proposals do breach international legal agreements. The answer I gave was a, a very clear answer to a very specific question. But today, Lord Keane quit his ministerial job, saying he tried and failed to fudge the issue, even as a compromise with Tory rebels over the bill was in the offing. Tonight, Boris Johnson has struck a deal to quell the Tory rebellion. He's authorised a vote in the Commons if and when he feels he needs to break international law. It's enough for most of the rebels on the Tory benches, but not for Lord Keane, nor likely to satisfy the European Union. The result of the compromise is still that legislation to break the withdrawal agreement is heading for the statute books. Brussels remains worried. I remind you of the words of Margaret Thatcher. I quote, Britain does not break treaties. And after warnings from Congress, warmer words from senior figures in the Trump administration. We trust the United Kingdom. They'll, I am confident they'll get it right. We've made clear uh, the, our view of the importance of the Good Friday Agreements. We know the complexity of the situation. We've done what we can to provide assistance where we can. Uh, in the end, this will be a set of decisions with respect to this that the United Kingdom makes. Tory tensions heal today, but divisions with the EU remain. The evergreen statement of British politics. Sam Coates, Sky News.